hours, right? Awesome focusing job. Lens. What the heck? Welcome back. My name is Emery. Thank you for joining me. Um, I had intended on making this video in the mountains. My wife gave me the day off from being the new dad thing. And she was like, go get some fresh air. So I did, brought the dogs up. As you can tell, I had some camera problems. Whatever, still learning some uh, video things. It was also really, really windy where I went up there. So uh, anyhow, I'm back in the office. The video, what I wanted to make out there was for land navigation. Tools that I use to get myself from point A to point B and home and all that kind of good stuff. People go lost all the time and there's really no need to be lost in 2018. It, there's so many tools that are at our disposal. So if you are headed into the backcountry, whether you're hunting or you're hiking or whatever it might be, this video is for you if you don't want to get lost. So the tools that I've used for backpacking and hunting and hiking, all that stuff, I've used map and compass. I'm talking when I was like 16 years old, if I, if I showed you the map that I used to not get lost, you'd be like, I mean, that's not actually a real map. It was basically a national forest map that I used uh, for the Gifford Pinchot, and it didn't even have declination on it, didn't have any real information. It basically just had road systems, no topographical information at all whatsoever. I was still able to make it out and back safely simply by having a map and being able to read it. So I used a map, I used a compass, I've used a standard, you know, old school Garmin GPS for you know where you load the map on and it's this big honking thing it's like 500 dollars it's ridiculous that was before smartphones um i have a garmin phoenix watch and i've also used my phone and by far the phone is uh, it's just so hard to beat if you're unfamiliar with an area you want to make sure that you have some sort of non-electronic device that does not gonna die on you so that you can kind of map your progress, figure out where you're at. But by and large, I have stopped using everything because everything I need is now on my map. Let me back up. Years ago, GPSs were not inside these things. And when they did go inside phones, um, and this is an iPhone 7 Plus, I was so hesitant to use them. It was, I was nervous because I was like, no, the GPS, it must be a different type of GPS. Oh, it's gotta be using cell service to be able to triangulate your location. No, it today, 2018, these are real GPS units. How much is an iPhone? An iPhone is hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Why would you go out and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars more on a standalone GPS unit when you have it right here on your phone? So uh, here's kind of the backstory on my intro into using my phone for navigation. Like I said, I used a standard Garmin GPS. It was great, worked just fine. And then I saw a commercial for Gaia GPS. Gaia GPS was an application you run on your phone and it works in airplane mode. All you have to do is download the map and whatever layers you want for that map. And then when you turn your phone on and you open the application, you open that map, there's a little blue dot that shows up at your location on the map and it tells you exactly where you're at. And I use this thing in parallel with my standard Garmin 
and it worked awesome. In fact, I was I rarely ever found myself being like, no, this this phone is wrong. Um, the GPS chips have gotten a lot better. I think it seems that way. Just like a standard GPS, if you're in a really deep goalie, sometimes the the like marker kind of moves around a little bit, but. Dude, I am telling you, if you're going on the backcountry, you need to have some sort of mapping application on your phone ready to use because it's so stinking easy. And what the cool part is, is with all these applications that are out there, for the most part, you download the maps you want to use. So if you want to download a satellite image, you download the satellite image that you can use while you're in the field. No longer are you bringing a bunch of different paper maps. All your maps are in your phone, stored on your phone, ready to use. And if you want to use a satellite imagery, use satellite imagery. If you want to use a topo map, if you want to use a national forest map, road map, whatever it might be, it's all on your phone and you just upload that layer and you're good to go. The moment that I realized I wanted to no longer use those standalone GPS units is when I was hiking into a new area and I got myself hemmed in in this like really, really, really thick trees. And it was, I'm telling you when I say thick, like I was doing one of, one of these numbers trying to push through. I pulled out my standalone GPS and I looked at it and I was like, this is just top of lines. Okay, let me see compared to my phone. So I had, again, using that Gaia GPS, I downloaded um, satellite imagery and some topo maps. So I uploaded the satellite imagery because the topo map's not really going to tell me where the forest, where the tree line is at. I uploaded the satellite imagery and I could tell that like 50 or 60 yards to my right or whatever it was, was an, a clearing. So I pushed through to that clearing, hit an old um, riverbed and walked myself out because I had basically hemmed myself into this really thick thing. Fast forward, I did that number and number of times. Dozens of times I've been in there and I'm like, dude, where the heck am I? Where's an easier path forward? Cool, let me jump over here, hit that little goalie or little ridge line or tree line, whatever it might be, bust through there, and there I am. It's made me way safer, and there are a lot of different options out there, and I wanna talk about three of them today that I've used personally, and whether extensively or briefly, it's, it's been great. The first one is Gaia GPS. Gaia GPS is linked down below. I actually have an affiliate program with them because I've used them so long, they offered it, and I was like, dude, cool. So you can get 20% off if you use the code down below in the, in the notes section, and basically all of their subscriptions, 20% off. Super cool, right? So Gaia GPS is the first one I used, and I've used it for a number of years, and basically I've just, what I ended up doing is the area that I hunt and I backpack in, I downloaded that entire area with the layers that I want to use. And every time I'm in the woods, I pull it up and it tells me exactly where I'm at. It has saved me getting lost on roads. It saved me getting lost on trails, off trail. When I say lost, turned around, curious where I'm at. It's prevented me from making bad decisions, going down the wrong road and that, makes your time in the backcountry so much better. So if you're trying to go from point A to point B on a road system, you got that. If you're trying to go to point from point A to point B on a trail, the Lewitt Trail, kind of terribly marked, saved me a bunch of times. I'm always opening up. I'm not gonna go down a trail three miles if it's the wrong one, right? So I'm always looking at it, I'm always bringing it up, double checking where I'm at, and it has been great. The next mobile application that I've used is Onyx Maps. Onyx Hunt, Onyx Maps, they have a couple different names. Same situation, you log in, you have an account, you download the maps for op offline use, and it gets you to where you wanna go. The difference between Onyx and Gaia, I would say Onyx is really targeted towards the hunter. They have a really, really great user interface. It's awesome to use. Both Gaia and Onyx have a, a like desktop application. You log into their system, and when you mark a waypoint or you mark make a route one way or another, they sync in the cloud and you're off and running. Onyx is tailored towards the hunter. They have a lot of potential in their software, in their user interface to be really great for backpackers, but because they're tailored towards hunters, you can really, really tell that uh, backpacking and like building routes and that kind of thing 
it's more or less for off trail routes whereas like Gaia GPS you can build yourself an on trail route upload it to your phone and you have it right there ready to go a lot of times what I'm trying to do is I'm doing a new route and I want to know the exact mileage you can't necessarily do that as of October 2nd you can't do that on Onyx but you can do that on Gaia Gaia GPS on the other hand really tailored towards the backpacker and the hiker somewhat tailored towards hunting so you can pull up public lands you can pull up hunting units um, they're great for off trail but you can just tell Onyx really tailored towards the hunter Gaia really tailored towards the hiker if you are through hiking both of these applications will help you however if you are through hiking on a major trail I used in 2017 the Pacific Crest Trail an application called Gut Hooks. Gut Hooks was awesome. If you are not using Gut Hooks and you're on a really long trail, such as the PCT, CDT, AT, Pacific Northwest Trail, bunch of different trails, man, you're just making your life so much harder than what it has to be. I never missed a turn. Nope, I don't think I ever missed a turn off. I was always able to find myself on the trail. It allows you to get from point A to point B. It tells you how many miles to a certain waypoint or a certain section on the trail. And you basically, when you're in town and you, it's, it's like various sections of trail chunked down, there's tons of information. Link in the description. I don't understand why this isn't just a standard feature on basically all trails because it takes the guesswork out of knowing how far it is to water, knowing how far it is to a campsite. It gives you information about what's 20 miles up ahead, what's in the next town, that kind of a thing. It's like your own little tour guide right on your phone and it works on your smartphone telling you it's awesome. I actually, when I came back from the PCT, I actually missed my Gut Hooks app. I wish it was on every single trail. It was really that good. To recap, please, please download a mobile application for navigation on your phone. I don't even know that's the right. Mobile navigation application for your phone because it will save you from getting lost. We had a guy, and this is this is my soapbox. There was a gentleman that went lost on Mount St. Helens this last summer for like six days. He went out for a day hook, not having known the area, no maps, I'm guessing, no compass, no way to get home, and he wasn't prepared for overnight. He survived six nights in the mountains when he, and they found him like four miles from the trailhead as the crow flies. I'm familiar with the area he got lost in and there is literally no reason why you need to get lost in 2018 and going forward. It's just, it doesn't need to happen. Please go on. If you want 20% off, use Gaia. If you want, what, if you don't like that, go to Onyx, find something. Find a mobile application for your phone that helps you navigate so you can get home safe and you can have the confidence knowing exactly where you're at. The worst thing in the world is going in the mountains, getting turned around and being like, oh crap, I don't know where I'm at. And then what happens is this rush of emotions. You start making bad decisions. You may start thinking things are one thing and then the next. You're not looking at your surroundings, you're not paying attention. Literally, the confidence of being in the backcountry, knowing where you're at, makes your entire trip so, so much better. Knowing how far it is to a certain location, knowing you're not gonna get lost, knowing that you're gonna come home that night. Man, I, I can't even say it enough. I don't care what you use. Always have some sort of map on you, paper map. That's always great as a backup if you're not familiar with the area. But everyone's got a smartphone. Everyone can download these maps and everyone if you're heading to the backcountry, you need to have one of these solutions in your pocket. That is my rant for today. Thank you for joining me. If you have any more questions, let me know. Again, I have extensive experience with these applications. I can help answer questions or I can point you to the people that uh, run the applications. I've had both Onyx and Gaia on the podcast talking about their applications. So you can check out those. I can leave those uh, links in the description as well. But yeah, that's it. I think that's it. Navigation.